Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Daniela and today I have a tutorial for you you've been asking for a lot. And that's the tutorial for this bead crochet coin purse. Uh, this tutorial is going to be quite long because I want to explain everything in detail to make it easy for you. That's why I decided to split the tutorials into six separate videos. Uh, so you won't have to click through one long video, but you can simply come back to the part you need later. Uh, I have found a lot of different variations of these purses on the web and I'll be making tutorials for other types as well. But first I'm going to show you how to crochet this flat coin press. I've been looking through various tutorials on how to crochet uh, such a coin press and I have to say that it was quite an adventurous search and open new horizons for me. Uh, there are not many comprehensive tutorials. Each tutorial is a little different, so I put together this one from a bunch of different tutorials, which I'm going to show you now. I couldn't find uh, much in English, uh, so I started with tutorials in Russian. By the way, Russians are amazing at making beadwork. And when I was going through the tutorials, I found that they also draw a lot from Japanese and Chinese tutorials. Uh, that was new information for me. Uh, so I dived into it and I have to say that their products are amazing and original. I struggle a lot with the translation, but combined with the drawings and videos, it's pretty good. Okay, so uh, to give you a better idea of what we are going to do, the purse consists of these two parts that we are going to sew together and then sew this metal frame. In those six parts of the video, I will tell you everything so uh, that you can also crochet a purse like this. First, I will tell you what we'll need. Uh, then I will talk about what the pattern looks like, how to read it and how to make your own, how to put on the beads on the thread, how to crochet it. You can see here that we are going to crochet this part without beads. Uh, so I will explain how and why. Uh, then I will show you how to sew the two parts together, how to sew the lining and finally how to sew the frame. There's going to be a lot. I will give you uh, some more tips as we go along, but uh, since this process has many other possibilities and variations, I will continue co uh, to cover this topic in other separate videos to make it easier to follow. So here we go. If you have prepared a bead mat, bead board or something like this, a few sticky notes uh, to write the letters that indicate the colors of the beads. I have made a pattern for size 11 beads. Uh, so here I have Toho round seed beads size 11. Uh, you can see the names of the colors here on the screen. And as always, I will put all the things you will need in the video description as well, including these codes and color names. Uh, these recommended beads can also be found directly in the pattern, including the quantity we will need. A thread. It is important to choose a fairly strong and thin thread. I have a jeans thread here. It's approximately 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If you want to buy this thread directly, I offer it on my Etsy shop in several colors. I use it to sew almost all of my products and judging by the reviews, you've been complimenting it a lot too. Uh, one spool will be enough for a whole purse. We will also need a thread in a different color. It will only serve as a marker, so you only need a small piece, maybe just two or three centimeters. It can be slightly thicker than the thread you'll be crocheting with, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then we will need a big eye needle so that the beads are easy to thread. A hook. I use a very small hook uh, that is 0.5 millimeters. If that's too small for you, then of course use any other size you're comfortable with. But it shouldn't be too big so that you get nice loops. We will need a metal frame. This one is uh, 8.5 centimeters wide. If you don't know where to buy one, I've seen a lot of them on AliExpress. I will put a link in the video description. I used a piece of fabric on the inside. This specific one is synthetic satin, but of course you can use any fabric you want. Um, it's not necessary. Some people don't do the inside at all, but then uh, you may have visible joints if you add a new thread during crochet. Uh, so it's up to you. 
I want it to look great since I'm spending so much time on it. Uh, I have also seen someone crochet the same two circles as these, just without the beads. That's a great option too, so you have this, uh, the inside crocheted too, but without the visible joints. But of course it's more time consuming. To show you how to cut out the lining, I have prepared this template. You can download it uh, in PDF. You can find the link in the description of the video down below. Just make sure when you print it uh, that you have the scale set to 100% so that you print the actual size of the template. Uh, the wallet consists of seven triangles, so the shape of the lining corresponds to that. Uh, the width of the finished crocheted wallet is approximately uh, 9.5 centimeters, so I added uh, 0.5 centimeters to each side of the lining for sewing. So the template is 10.5 centimeters wide in total, in the widest place. The size of your wallet may vary slightly based on your crochet style, so I recommend measuring the finished side of the wallet and if you find it to be significantly different from my 9.5 centimeters width, I recommend adjusting the lining template accordingly. Simply subtract or add a few millimeters around the circumference of the template. So with it comes the fact that we will need a needle and a thread to sew it together. If you want, you can also sew, use a sewing machine or... I bought a tiny little hand sewing machine. I wasn't expecting anything from it, but I was pleasantly surprised. It's perfectly sufficient for these purposes and only cost me uh, 140 crowns, uh, which is about $6. For the price, it's a really cool thing. Next, we need some pencil for tracing. And since I'll be using satin, which is synthetic and easy to melt, a lighter to keep the fabric from fraying. Uh, the frame needs to be sewn to the beadwork and I don't want the stitching to be visible, so I will use this clear nylon thread. It's 0.2 millimeters. I use centipede braided lace to cover the stitches uh, on the inside to sew the beadwork to the frame. Uh, they are very easy to find in different colors and width, for example on Amazon or AliExpress. I have seen in some patterns that they don't cover the stitches at all, or they cover it by sewing a few beads on the inside, or they sew a classic ribbon. Uh, there are many possibilities. I like this lace. I bought it in several colors and width. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use this uh, old pink one, which is eight millimeters wide. I don't want to deal with any more sewing of this lace, so I will glue it in. The result looks better to me. And I will use this Uhu glue to glue it on. Uh, you can use any strong all-purpose glue. And I will apply the glue with a toothpick. And of course, we will need scissors. And that's it. In the following video, I will show you the pattern itself, how to work with it, how to draw your own, and how to thread the beads on the thread. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!